and welcome to Scrap Mechanics. This is Morbidos with Level 10 Gamers, and today I've um, I've got something that I've been working on for quite a while to show you. Um, it has taken me uh, quite a while actually to put this together, and um, I haven't seen anybody do the same on YouTube yet. Um, Basically, it's a Rube Goldberg machine, um, and for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, the definition by Wikipedia is a Rube Goldberg machine is a contraption, invention, device, or apparatus that is deliberately, deliberately over-engineered to perform a simple task in a complex fashion, generally including a chain reaction. And Everybody knows that what's on Wikipedia is the truth, and that's the way it is. Uh, if I sound like a Texan I right now, um, that has to do with I've been watching a lot of Neeps gaming lately, and that guy is fucking hilarious, just so that said. And uh, for those of you who don't know that is, I'll put a link in the description to his channel, and uh, you can laugh your ass off like I did. Now. We did not come here to see, to just to sit here and listen to me talk, did we? No siree, we did not. Okay, so, here it is. Check out this monstrosity. It is a beaut, to say at least. Um, and as the description said, uh, don't mind the tower in the background, that's Dunphy's um, little test lab of an elevator, I think that went... Um, pretty much ape shit. so um, as the description of Rube Goldberg machine said um, it is a machine or an apparatus that has been deliberately over engineered to perform a simple task and the simple task of today is sit here and listen to some music on this little radio now that would be easy if we could just turn it on but we can't, not with this buttons get rid of that so we have to use this button and um, I'll try to get as much as I can in frame uh, and I hope we don't get any lag issues we uh, had some earlier but uh, I think I actually solved those so let's get cracking shall we okay first off let's activate this button here it goes. This one falls nicely, and the arm comes over, and should grab hold. Yep, grabs hold nicely, turns. Come on, physics, don't fail me now. And let go. Let go. Let it go. Thank you. Now come on. Gravity, do your chin. Ah, oh, cock. Why does gravity have to fuck with me always? Okay, so let's just pretend that didn't happen and delete a few blocks here just to make it all better. There we go. This one opens up and should swing out. Yeah, swinging out. Come on. Tip over. Tip over. Come on. Oh yeah. Drops the payload and we are rolling. Yeah, I should have sped this up a bit, but let's just make sure that this gets there in one piece, shall we? We don't want to fuck anything up by speeding everything up. Come on, little train. It's I should have named him. What should we name him? Give me a name in the comment section and it shall be given. And I don't think we should call it Speedy, because clearly that that would be a lie. That's lying isn't good, so we're we're not gonna call it Speedy. 
Uh, Dunphy and uh, my other companion, Xango, wanted to join today, but Dunphy is on Easter vacation and he doesn't even have Edge Net on his phone, so he's out. And uh, Xango is currently struggling to get his old ass computer up and running and uh, and uh, be able to run this game. He tried it on laptop, I know, but that went to shit. There we go! Hey! <laughs> Oh, come on out, little pieces. Come on. Come on. Don't fail me now. Oh, come on. Don't do don't do this. Don't do this. We need someone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're going. We're going. Check out this conveyor belt action right here. And now we gotta run all the way over here. Come on. Come on. I can make it! I can make it! And now we wait. Come on, music. Cue music. Come on. Any time now. Where's my music? It should not take this long. Have I turned the music down? Oh, it's, it's supposed to be on. I have to run over and check it. Let's uh, head over here and see what went wrong. Did we fuck something up? Why are you not? Isn't this just typical? I've tried it twice. And it all worked out nice. And of course, just this once when I'm recording, everything has to go to shit. Well, there we go. Now we can sit down here, relax. Have a look at our creation. Uh, looks nice. So, how did I do that? Oh, oh, I'll walk you through it. Let's go head up to the starting area over here. Um. Basically, we've got a wheel that's leaning on this, and when we press the button. This one swings open, and the wheel tumbles down here. You can see it's still stuck in here. Uh, in here, we have a motion sensor that controls this arm. You can see it resetting now. And if you watch closely, you can see these two little arms just move slightly. I think it's three degrees these reset, or was it seven? No, it's Three degrees when it's a small tire, seven degrees when it's a big tire. Just a squeeze on the tire, just enough to hold it. Now, if I set a few blocks in here, let's do like this, and, and like this, and release this. You can see the arm going again, and that squeezes, goes up, turns around. Heads back down here, and you can see just slight movement to let go. Wheel falls down, falls into this, which again pivots, and it blocks this sensor. This sensor first removes this support arm and then shoves this arm a little bit forward. Just enough so that it pushes the tire gently down this little hill and activates this sensor, which in the, in um, order opens this gate. The payload falls down, activates this sensor, which activates this little arm, which had a block on it, that fell down into our train cabin. You can see it. It's Come on, don't be like this. It's right here. It's 
resting in front of another sensor, which makes the whole train work. Train drives forward, and when it comes up to these, let's just make it go a little bit backwards, shall we? Okay, go back. Now we can remove this block. Stop. Uh, when this is 10 boxes away from here, it should react, but I've uh, put this put this uh, hole in here, which means that it doesn't react until it gets all the way up here and it squeezes these little um, suspensions to get close enough to the wall and it reacts and that activates this tipping function. When this is in the correct position, this, um, this little um, um, doorway or um, uh, gate will open opens downwards and tips over and it will block this sensor which sets off this um, conveyor belt and the payload rolls over here and as you can see activates this little sensor which is connected all the way over here to the radio there you go an extremely simple task over-engineered with a machine. As you can see, the, way, the reason that this line works is because everything is connected via this little line that goes through the whole thing, goes up here and comes down here and follows along the track into this and around the wall and into this so there you have it my or our Rube Goldberg machine and uh, that's about it for this uh, video we have another video coming up um, not the It'll be it'll be after Easter because Norway has a, a different Easter holiday, which means that uh, basically after noon tomorrow, all of Norway just shuts down and fucks off for uh, Easter vacation for five days. So uh, after that, we'll make a video of uh, when. Uh, we build, continue building on this. Um, we've got a, a summer house, as we call it. It's built into the skybox, which is quite cool. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, there's a video of it in our in our uh, channel, and I can link it to something. Uh, and uh, we have a um, vote going on on Twitter. I think it's still active as of recording um, whether or not we're putting in a elevator or a landing platform on this sky base because we need a way to get there which is fairly easy because Dunphy I think he used like three hours to get there first time uh, so yeah so sign Dunphy made with this new spray gun tool if you haven't seen that, you should check, definitely check that out. That's it's not the most useful thingy they could have added, but it's quite cool. All you do is just mark up what you want, paint it, and hey presto, it's blue. Problem is, it's also blue on the other side, so fucks up everything. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and listen to some music. See ya. Oh, and uh, of course, drop a like or. Uh, or um, subscription to our channel and um, you'll be notified with all our new videos bye for now and uh, happy Easter